What's going on? It's Wally Pitt here from HBCU Game Day. We had another big Wednesday night in the CIAA Southern Division. Johnson C. Smith played host to St. Aug on Blackout Night. The Johnson C. Smith students honoring Black History Month by dressing in all black for this game. We went into this game looking forward to a great guard matchup between Anthony Gaskins of St. Aug and Robert Davis of JCSU, two of the top scoring guards in the conference. And this game turned out to be a battle from tip to buzzer. Pep Band, what's the word? Word up. Now let's get into the first half. St. Aug starts off hot from behind the arc. Jaquan Ruffin sets it off with an open three. Then he finds Kenneth Collins on the opposite wing for another tray. Run it right back. Ruffins to Collins again for a three. This one from the corner. Then big man Quincy January adds in a tough two. And the St. Augustine Falcons off to a great start. They took a 16-8 lead early in the first half. But not to worry, JCSU gets back on their bull uh, stuff. Gabon Williams gets the steal here and hits Robert Davis for the easy lay-in. Next, Robert Davis gives us a little hezzy, then he takes this one right to the rack. Next, he lines this one up from long distance, hitting the three, closing the Falcon lead to only three. Now, I know it's the middle of February, but the boy Quincy January turned ice cold on the Golden Bulls late in the first. Here, he gets out in front of the D and throws this one down for the big time slam. Next, he takes on almost every Johnson C. Smith player on the court, makes a grown man move and gets the bucket plus the foul. And for his encore, he does it again. Here go another tough bucket in the paint by January. He would finish this game with a double-double, 16 points and 10 boards. And he and his Falcons are up 29-21 at the half. At the half, Smith assistant coach and Golden Bull legend Mark Sherrill receives his golden jacket from the JCSU 100 Club. Congrats to coach, you know a gold jacket is always a sign of greatness. Now, St. Augustine star guard Anthony Gaskins didn't start the game, but he came out hot in the second half. Here he gives us a nice drive to the hoop for two. Backs it right up with this acrobatic drive to the bucket, looking like Liu Kang from Mortal Kombat on that one. Then he pulls up from Pineville on this deep three. He would finish this game with 13 points, but the winner of the guard duel was clearly Mr. Robert Davis. Big shot Bob hit buckets every time his team needed a lift. He finished the game with 24 points on nine of 17 shooting. Down the stretch, the Golden Bulls up three with less than 30 seconds left to play. St. Aug looking to tie the game on this possession, but Jaquan Ruffin's pass to Quincy January is off the mark. I'm not sure if January thought he had a teammate behind him, but it looks like that slight hesitation was all it took for him to miss the pass. And Johnson C. Smith protects their home court and gets the win to keep pace with the middle of the CIAA South Division, all of whom are looking up at the Shaw Bears, fighting for seeding position in the CIAA Tournament. We'll be back in Brave Boy Gym on Saturday as the Golden Bulls take on their 704 rival, the Livingstone Bears.